here's one of my herb spirals right here. This one I'm going to expand today. I'm going to make it twice as large. But these uh, these things are amazing. They produce so many herbs. The microclimates that are created by having the spiral and the rocks and the hot spots and the cool spots and the well-drained spots and the wetter spots. It really makes a big difference. I have to cut these things back regularly. And uh, the only thing, the bare spots are because I've torn things out and reseeded to try to get new things in. But uh, the most amazing design. So uh, the key to a good herb spiral is tons of rocks. My first one was a little bit small because I was wimpy on the rock collection. So I uh, ponied up and got a whole bunch of rocks and uh, made a proper one. And that brings us back to here, where we are currently. And then, time to expand.
All right. It's a pretty mirror image to the other one. It looks like a heart now. My wife will appreciate that. So the plants that like to be really wet, they go in the bottom and then gradually on your way up it becomes better drained and stays drier in the top. So you can put your dry loving plants in the top. I'm going to go with rosemary on the top of mine. Here's another one I just finished. This was the, uh, it was the mound where the pond's waterfall was. And I just, uh, instead I decided to make it an herb spiral because I'm obsessed now and incorporated the waterfall into the spiral itself. If you liked the last video and you want to see a time lapse of this one being built, uh, you can click the link and watch this one as well.